Today, we talk about sustainability around the systems in which we live and work. And those, you know, fundamentally start with environmental. Those are environmental systems. Without those, we don't live, we don't work as a community, and we certainly don't do any business. Inside of that circle, of course, is then social systems, again, which we live and work in. And then finally, within that circle is our business. So we talk about triple bottom line, planet, profit, um, and people. And sometimes we look at that and say, those are the three pillars. I look at it more like a braid. You got to braid those three things together because you can't say on day one, well, I'm just going to pay attention to profit and it doesn't matter what I do with people and planet today. Nor can you say, well, I'm just going to focus on the people element and to hell with what it happens economically because none of that is sustainable. I also like my friend Catherine Winkler, I think, was a person who either said it originally or said it first to me when she talked about, instead of the three Ps, the three E's, economy, ecosystems, and equity. I really like that. I, I like that as, as yeah. another way of looking at the triple bottom line. But fundamentally, we moved from thinking about financial sustainability in business, in my opinion, in 1987 when the Brundtland Commission came together. And that is still the best definition for sustainability. It's rock solid. It says that sustainable development meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. If we just like stick that, you know, tattoo that on our foreheads, write it on the index card that I have, you know, right here underneath the glass on my desk, we would all be doing very well to think about that. And so, so how do we do that? 